Good morning. My name is Maureen Chung. Welcome to Devotional 2024. This is Series 5-7. The Bible passage is 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 13, and the title is Replace Evil with Evil. On February 16th, 2024, Alexei Navalny died at the age of 47 years. He was a Russian opposition leader, lawyer, anti-corruption activist, and political prisoner. He was the archenemy of President Vladimir Putin because he founded the Anti-Corruption Foundation, FBK, which exposed corruption in Russia and organized anti-government demonstrations. In August 2020, Navalny was poisoned with a Navichok nerve agent and evacuated to Berlin, Germany for treatment. He recovered and returned to Russia in January of 2021. But he was immediately arrested and detained. He was sentenced multiple times on various false allegations of embezzlement and extremism. He was sent to an Arctic Circle corrective colony where he was pronounced dead by the Russian prison service. Navalny died just a month before the Russian presidential election on March 15 to 17 of 2024. Election after election Will countries of the world simply replace evil with evil? In the devotional 2024 series 3-9 sharing, based on 1 Kings chapter 19, I focused on the loneliness of Elijah at his escape to Mount Horeb. There, God gave him three assignments. A. Go to Damascus to anoint Haziel, king over Aram. B. Anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, king over Israel. And C. Anoint Elisha to succeed Elijah as prophet. Elijah completed his third assignment about calling Elisha to succeed him right away. But the first two assignments about anointing Haziel and Jehu were left undone. In 2 Kings chapter 2, we read that Elijah was taken up to heaven. Now it is left to Elisha to finish the remaining assignments. Yesterday, in 2 Kings chapter 8 verse 7 to 15, we read that Elijah pronounced Haziel king over Aram. Today, we see how Jehu is anointed king over Israel. Jehu ends the dynasty of Ahab, but he simply replaces the evil of Ahab with his own evil. Let's read 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 1 to 13. The prophet Elisha summoned a man from the company of the prophets and said to him, Tuck your cloak into your belt. Take this flask of olive oil with you and go to Ramoth Gilead. When you get there, look for Jehu, son of Jehoshaphat, the son of Nimshi. Go to him, get him away from his companions and take him into an inner room. Then take the flask and pour the oil on his head and declare, this is what the Lord says. I anoint you king over Israel. Then open the door and run, don't delay. So the young prophet went to Ramoth Gilead. When he arrived, he found the army officers sitting together. I have a message for you, commander, he said. For which of us? asked Jehu. For you, commander, he replied. Jehu got up and went into the house. Then the prophet poured the oil 
on Jehu's head and declared, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I anointed you king over the Lord's people, Israel. You are to destroy the house of Ahab, your master, and I will avenge the blood of my servants, the prophets, and the blood of all the Lord's prophets shed by Jezebel. The whole house of Ahab will perish. I will cut off from Ahab every last male in Israel, slave or free. I will make the house of Ahab like a house of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and like the house of Basha, son of Ahijah. As for Jezebel, dogs will devour her on the plot of ground at Jezreel, and no one will bury her. Then he opened the door and ran. When Jehu went out to his fellow officers, one of them asked him, Is everything all right? Why did this maniac come to you? Oh, you know the man and the sort of things he says, Jehu replied. That's not true, they said. Tell us! Jehu said, Here is what he told me. This is what the Lord says. I anoint you king over Israel. They quickly took their cloaks and spread them under him on the bare steps. Then they blew the trumpet and shouted, Jehu is king. Note that Elisha didn't go personally to Ramoth Gilead to anoint Jehu king over Israel. This was the last assignment from God that he was to do for his mentor, Elijah. Instead, he summoned his student prophet for the task with a detailed instruction. The previous assignment to pronounce Haziel king over Aram was too heart-wrenching for him. Elijah knew that violence Haziel would inflict upon Israel, Elijah's countrymen. This time, perhaps, he couldn't bear to see evil Jehu elevated to the position of kingship. He delegated another mission impossible to a student prophet who could run fast. The young prophet was to identify Jehu, get him away from his companions, anoint him in private as king over Israel, and run. The brave young prophet did as he was told. He prophesied in the name of the Lord. A. Jehu must destroy the house or family of King Ahab, for God will avenge the blood of his servants shed by Queen Jezebel. Verse 7. And B. As for Jezebel, dogs will devour her on the plot of ground at Jezreel, and no one will bury her. Verse 10. Then the young prophet ran. Soon after, Jehu told his fellow officers about him being anointed as king over Israel, and they acknowledged his ascension with a proclamation. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 4 says, The Lord works out everything to its proper end, even the wicked for a day of disaster. Wicked King Ahab's son, King Joram, who reigned from 852 to 841 BC, was killed by Jehu in battle. Joram's body was discarded on the field of Naboth, the property that Ahab and just Jezebel seized by murdering the original rightful owner. You can refer to 1 Kings chapter 21, verse 19 and 29. In the same battle where King Ahaziah of Judah happened to be with Joram, Ahaziah also died from mortal injuries in 841 BC. 
Subsequently, wicked Queen Jezebel was thrown down from her window by her eunuchs and died. True to the prophecy, dogs devoured her and no one buried her. You can refer to 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 30 to 37. With Je Jezebel dead, Jehu proceeded to have all of Ahab's family, chief men, close friends, and priests killed. Yet the evil of Ahab's dynasty was replaced with the evil of Jehu, who reigned from 841 to 814 BC. Instead of worshipping the false god Baal, Jehu turned to worship the golden calves at Bethel and Dan. The decline of Israel hastened. Second Kings chapter 10 verse 32 says, In those days the Lord began to reduce the size of Israel. Haziel overpowered the Israelites throughout their territory. King Haziel of Aram was God's tool of chastisement on Israel. God is just. When we see the decline of our country today, we tend to blame our government. We want to replace one government with another. Yet the decline persists. When we see the decline of our churches today, we tend to blame our leaders. We want to replace one with an another. Yet the decline continues. When we see the decline of our careers, we tend to blame our employers. We want to change jobs. When we see the decline of our marriages, we tend to blame our spouses. We want to change partners. In many cases, we replace evil with evil. Until we repent and return to God, our sovereign savior, history just repeats itself. Only when we realize that we don't stand a chance by ourselves, God opens a way of deliverance. His hand reaches down to lift us up to a higher place. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James chapter 4 verse 6 and also 1 Peter 5 verse 5. God never fails even when we break his heart. So let us pray. Our Father in heaven, as nations war against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms, famines, earthquakes, persecutions, and deceptions run rampant, we know that the end of the age is near. We examine our heart of sin and rebelliousness. We deplore our pride and self-righteousness. We pray for your forgiveness. We pray for a changed heart. We look forward to your sovereign rule over us. You are our maker, our source of life. To you we surrender. Despite the turmoil in this world, May you fill us with your peace. We shall proclaim your gospel with faith, hope, and love until Christ Jesus returns. We want to replace our evil with your good. We want to see you smile again. We pray in the everlasting name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear friends, don't just replace evil with evil, but replace evil with good. May God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you.